In this episode, we're going to cover Release It, the second edition by Michael Nygaard. I was one of the early developers to go into operations and uh, learn some hard experiences from being woken up at three and four in the morning uh, for weeks on end and tried to sort of bring back my experience from there because when I went into operations, I thought it would be about fans failing and replacing disk drives. And that was the tiny minority of problems we resolved. The primary audience is the professional software developer or architect. It covers a lot of the topics that generally weren't addressed in software design courses or in training that you would find. The first edition is a classic in my mind, and it came like at just the right time. It sort of preempted the, the DevOps thing, and in my mind was part of the, the input to the movement towards DevOps, you know, where developers are encouraged to start thinking about like, how, how do you get your code into production and what is the impact, like what's the difference between running in production and, and running it on your machine? There's sort of been this shift in the cloud world away from from capacity management to cost management. Even the automated load tests are too predictable. Using stories, then having the anti-patterns and then the what to do about it was like a really helpful way to, to teach developers like what are the problems, what's causing those problems and what you can do to prevent those things in future. There's a really fascinating thing happening in the, the large scale data centers where virtualization is now moving a layer below the CPU. As developers, we have to worry about so much more than we used to have to worry about. A small failure can like lead to the cracks in the system, which can end up like bringing everything down. And all to begin with, you see everything coming down. It's very difficult to trace it back without experience, without reading a book like yours. We, we now also have to think about the internal software using our platforms in unpredictable or unexpected ways. But there are still, you know, quarterly deployment processes at companies that have not automated and there's a sort of a, a, a vicious cycle that keeps them stuck in this this mode. I have a couple of examples in, in the second edition about kind of automation gone wrong. Um, one of them comes from Reddit. Subscribe to the GoTo YouTube channel now and join the experts in person or online at any upcoming GoTo conference using the promo code BOOKCLUB. Visit gotopia.tech to learn more.